So our first logical operation is the conju conjunction operation. So this is denoted by this wedge and the proposition P wedge Q, which is read P and Q, is called the conjunction. So P and Q is true if both P is true and Q is true. It's false if either P is false or Q is false or both. So this is what the truth table looks like for the conjunction. If both P and Q are true, then P and Q is true. If P is true and Q is false, the statement's false, and etc. So for example, we'll have two propositions. P stands for January has 31 days, and Q, February has 33 days. So this means P and Q is expressed in English as January has 31 days and February has 33 days. We know that proposition P's truth value is true since January does have 31 days. However, Q is false since February does not have 33 days. This means that P and Q is false because it's not the case that both of these propositions are true. So let's talk about some conjunctions in English. So we'll define P as Sam is poor and H as Sam is happy. So there's lots of ways to express this conjunction in English. So the first, P and H. Sam is poor and he is happy. P but H. Sam is poor, but he is happy. Despite the fact that P, H, so despite the fact that Sam is poor, he is happy. And one more, although P, H, although Sam is poor, he is happy. So these statements may not mean exactly the same thing when translated to English, but in logic they do mean the same. Our next operation is the disjunction operation. This is denoted by the V, which is read P or Q. It's called the disjunction of P and Q. And this is true if either one of P or Q is true, or if both is true. It's only false if neither P nor Q is true. So here's our truth table. You'll see that P or Q is true, with the exception of the case where neither one P or Q is true. So we'll go back to our, our propositions that January has 31 days and February has 33 days. In English, this is stated as January has 31 days or February has 33 days. We still know that P is true and Q is false. So P or Q is true since one of them is true. January does have 31 days. There is some ambiguity in the word or. So in continent English, this depends on the context. So the, when, when the word or is used in English, the intended meaning is that one of the other things is true, but not both. So for example, if we have the sentence, Lucy is going to the park or the movie, this would normally be understood as that she is either going to the park or going to the movie, but not both. So this is known as an exclusive or. And this happens when P is true and Q is false or when Q is true and P is false. So this is not our standard logical or. This is the exclusive or. The inclusive or is the same as our disjunction operation. And it evaluates to be true when one or both of the propositions are true. For example, Lucy opens the windows or doors when warm, means she opens the windows, doors, or maybe both. So the inclusive or is the most common one in logic, so we just call it the or. Our 
next operation will be the negation operation. So rather than combining two propositions, this one affects just one proposition and reverse the truth value. And it's read as not P. So it only, op it only acts on a single proposition and its truth table only has two rows. If P is true, then not P is false. And if P is false, then not P is true.